So, I'm over at my parents. Um, I've come over here specially to bring them some parasol mushrooms to try from Dunwich, which Al brought home from uh, work yesterday, because my father has never tried parasol mushrooms. Anyway, we've just eaten them, so I uh, didn't make a video. But uh, my dad's just said to me, he said, he's looked out the window and said, aren't those, uh, those mushrooms over there on the field? And if I'm not very much mistaken, they blooming well are. I've never seen these here. So this is your parasol mushroom. It's like a beefsteak of mushrooms. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Now that's, that's lunch. <laughs> Compared to my hand, it's pretty big, huh? So that's your parasol mushroom. They're very, very tasty. There you go, nice underneath. And you've got that kind of like ring around it. Okay. I don't want anybody watching my videos eating a mushroom and then bloody dying. So anyway, that's your parasol mushroom. I've got another one here. And another one here. Now over here we got another another mushroom here. This is probably a horse mushroom or field mushroom of some sort. I don't, know. I don't know my mushrooms though. But that is a beautiful looking mushroom. So uh, this goes to show, doesn't it? Old smarty pants driving all the way over here with the bloody parasol mushrooms. They're already here. One, two, three. Number four. Another one here. <laughs> one of the most delicious things you can find in autumn is a parasol mushroom. I've got three here out of my dad's um, garden. He'd never had them. We went and had some yesterday that I got from Dunwich. And it turns out he got some on his field. Anyway, all this white dust from where I've left them overnight, that's spores. That's baby mushroom is whatever um that's all dropped out overnight so that's that's how they sort of reproduce the wind would blow that and um it would grow but anyway these are these are lovely big ones i've just warmed up a pan on a medium heat i'm going to pop a little knob of butter in there because my fat is going to sizzle away we'll start cooking i'm only going to do one of these i'm just going to turn it over take a bit of grass off okay let's have a look at the underside so it's a lovely, big, open kind of mushroom. Look at that. Look at those beautiful gills. Uh, it's nice and fresh, obviously. I only got it out yesterday, out of the ground. I cut most of the stalk off. I've taken the ring off. I'm actually going to take the rest of that stalk off to flatten it shortly. Okay. And then I'm going to put it place down in there. But you get this beautiful kind of snake skin covering nice bump um it can be confused with a shaggy parasol but those only get to about 15 centimeters if you get one this big i mean look at that that's that's massive that's 30 centimeters plus then you know it's a parasol okay shaggy parasols also go sort of reddish when cut anyway, without further ado i'm going to slice that bit off pop it into my nice pan which has got a nice foamy nutty brown look to it so here we go i'll just place that gently in the pan uh hopefully that's going to shrink because um <laughs> there's not much room push it down a little bit and i'm just going to pop the lid on it so that the heat will um, help to cook it through. Okay, I did run a butter knife around the edges just to get it to fit into the pan, but it still was totally full at 30 centimetres. So now with the lid on, that's, um, that's collapsed down nicely. Smells very, very nice. Um, looks nice. Let's see if we can lift the edge and see how it's looking oh, it's gone nice and soft yeah 
Can you see that? Yeah, it's cooking nicely. Yeah. I reckon a couple more minutes and we'll be there. I might try flipping it. Might have to do it a bit like a pancake. <laughs> okay, I flipped it over. The, the top is looking a bit dark. Um, that's the skin anyway, so that's not a massive, massive problem. Maybe I should uh, have flipped it a little bit earlier. But you live and learn. Normally I chop them up and stir them. Well, I think that'll be fine. A few seconds. That's been about, ooh, yeah, 45 seconds now that it's been over. Okay, 45 seconds on the other side, and that looks delicious. It's still steaming. I'm going to get my knife out and give it a cut and a taste. Yeah, cuts easily enough. I'm now going to position you, dear viewers, on top of my microwave so you can see whether I like it. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so. Might be a bit hot. So there's my little slice of parasol mushroom. So here's my little slice of parasol mushroom. Oh, it's good. The, the skin is too stuff. Uh, skin is really tough, so I'm gonna chew the flesh off the skin. It is loads of flavour. It's quite moist inside. We've had a lot of rain lately. You can dry these. You can chop them up, you can freeze them, and do all sorts. Mmm. Really good. I'm going to whip the skin off while it's burnt out, and I'm going to eat the rest.